the library is, to me, the heart of the campus because everybody needs it. And each year I find it really um, inspiring to see the transition as the students embrace the library as their second home, become comfortable there, fit it into their day, not just for research, but for their study place, and um, develop a real strong attachment to it. There is a feeling of sanctuary about a uh, library. There's something, something about every uh, library, and certainly about this library that has some feeling of going to church, or going to the temple. I, I, uh, I've always loved the feeling of being, of being in, in the library. I do. Learning is a journey. Each of us begins at a different place heading in search of a distinctive future. At USC, we provide a path for thousands of individuals on that journey. The university libraries bring thousands of learners together. Here, every student, professor, or community member will study, share, learn, and grow in the quest for their own possibilities. A university has many opportunities for learning, dozens of colleges and hundreds of programs, Yet its libraries are among the few core institutions that serve the entire learning community. Since its founding in 1801, USC's leaders have always recognized the importance of the library to higher education. Before students attended the first classes, USC had already begun developing a library collection. By 1860, it was considered one of the finest institutional collections in the country. From the beginning, those visionaries knew the university's libraries must be soundly built, broadly based, and capable of growing and changing. Today, USC continues that tradition by embracing this simple notion. Enhance the library, and you enhance the entire institution and the community it serves. If somebody cared for this library. Librarians have worked to make this an effective place. There's always been leadership there that had a core ideology about what a university means and what a library means within a university. Carolina Library was the first library built on a campus in the United States. And that tradition has continued. The university libraries are remarkable for their breadth, a collection of collections that work in harmony to support the broad range of activities on campus and in the community. The library at the School of Music, the Elliott White Springs Business Library, the collections of math and the sciences. The film library, which includes the extensive archive of movie tone newsreel footage from earlier in our century. And at their hub, Thomas Cooper Library, where each day hundreds of students from every program at USC come together to study, learn, and grow. Well, I think that university libraries are, are different and very special in the sense that they are devoted primarily to scholarship, to study, to information and knowledge. And that's why this kind of library, Cooper Library, is so important to me because it contains the materials that I can't find elsewhere. Effective libraries must provide the best current information about our world. That is the working collection the books, periodicals, and documents essential for research. Yet they must also have as a part of their mission the acquisition and preservation of unique resources. This is the first edition of uh, Origin of the Species. And uh, this is one of the very few most famous books of all time. This is one of those resources, Dr. Warren Irvin's personal collection of rare books related to Charles Darwin recently donated to USC's Special Collections. It's been actually a great, great thing for me. I, I've enjoyed it because they have done a superb job, I think, and they've gotten it on the Internet, and people are calling up, and people are interested in this. And gosh, I'm just, I'm just thrilled to see that this thing has become uh, as much interest to a lot of people. Along with maintaining the archives of the university itself, Carolinianna Library includes the modern political collection, 
This division of the library was created in 1991 to document South Carolina government, society, and political history in the post-World War II era. It includes the papers of many of South Carolina's political figures, the two major political parties, and political action groups. These and other records at the Caroliniana Library constitute the most complete chronicle of South Carolina history and place it among the top collections devoted to the American South. The result is a unique resource that attracts scholars who can find this information nowhere else. Because they're, they're not in any book, they're manuscripts. And I think this is a gem in the crown of the University of South Carolina. As it works to preserve the past and maintain a current collection, the university library must also take an innovative role in the information age. Those innovations can open up pathways to tomorrow, new avenues of exploration. Using the internet, electronic databases, and the latest in computer and communications innovations, USC is providing a wealth of electronic resources to students and faculty. The pathways these open up not only flow into USC, but provide the means for bringing its unique collections to the rest of the world. The dedication and commitment to develop its libraries has already reaped results for USC. According to the Association of Research Libraries, university libraries in the last five years have surpassed such schools as Notre Dame, MIT, and Vanderbilt. And this is only the beginning of what the university libraries can and should be. As USC builds upon its role as South Carolina's flagship university, it will need libraries equal to the task to continue developing its collections, preserving and archiving unique resources, and opening up new channels to the information age. The university libraries are honoring that commitment begun almost 200 years ago. In our next century of service, USC's founding wisdom will guide us still as we preserve the paths to yesterday and pave the way to tomorrow.